Hello, 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 everybody. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, stellar day here in Sunnyvale, California. I'm out at a Baylands Park by my house. I went for a bike ride and I'm just going to kind of continue around the park just to get a little exercise, but come out and enjoy some sunshine and fresh air and the birds. And even though there's a lot of activity around here, the freeway's not far, 237, there's planes, as you hear. There are trucks moving. I don't know if they're like building a building out. There's a little area, I'll, I'll show you guys the birds and everything, it's really beautiful here. And the point of making this is to talk about that though there's a lot of noise in the world, if you stop and just listen, and breathe and if you're just able to be which is difficult for me I'm definitely a squirrel all over the place squirrel I just saw a really cute squirrel a couple of them but if you're able to smell the fresh air even when you're out at a park like this which isn't ideal it's not Henry Cowell Park in Felton or at the beach but there is nice fresh air. There are little wildflowers. There are beautiful geese and vultures and different kinds of ducks, the little ground squirrels, hummingbirds. So when, you, when you're trying to just be focused or enjoy the space that you're in or nature, you can see a little tiny hummingbird in a tree because you're looking, right? You're looking for them. Your mind is on the beauty around you and that's that segues into that though there is a lot going on in our lives these last two years and for a lot of you you've known about all this stuff all these evildoers for longer than just these two years uh, quite a few of us just woke up in these last two years I lived a very simple life before this I went to work I went to the gym I bought some groceries I went to church <laughs> That was about it. I read a lot of books, which I have to get back into. I'm missing reading books for enjoyment, but I can't concentrate. I have a hard time. I'm getting better, but if we can do our best as a collective to focus on joy and being cautiously optimistic or being optimistic, focus on happiness and possibilities and that change is okay there's a helicopter and I'll, I'll tell you I've been struggling I am I'm not perfect or, or anywhere near great even at this stuff but it's what I am working on practicing and working on doing and shifting out of the anger and resentment and being pissed and sad and upset and raging. Hello, helicopter. I would probably flip it off <laughs> if I was just not making this video right now. But anyway, we're always being surveilled, right? But we also can't focus on that. If you ask me, I choose to focus on joy. I choose to focus on turning things around in this upside down world talking about knowing, seeing, being a part of the positive changes that are happening, people coming together and helping each other, people pushing past their own comfort zone and boundaries. I mean, boundaries are important, but like for me, I'm creating slash working, I'm using a different word, in a place that is pretty chaotic as far as stuff and mess I won't go into too much more detail out of respect, but it's difficult for me and I've had to have conversations with myself. Self, get back to serving, serving, helping people and not at a restaurant, guys. What I mean is being of service instead of being selfish and working through um, difficulties and difficult situations and interesting people and atmosphere, if we can all collectively work towards the homeschooling or the unschooling and the buying from each other, buying, selling, trading from each other, helping each other, 
uh, parents that can get you know get the kids out of the indoctrination camps and then have little schools in your home I should be doing that but I am not that huge of a fan of kids I mean I love them but not necessarily want to spend eight hours a day with them there's some folks that are gonna be walking by me with masks on in a minute maybe not which is good and then there's beautiful geese flying behind me let me see if I can sorry oh shoot I don't know how to turn it around where's the I don't want this close up of my face I got the geese behind me going by me. They're amazing. hold everybody up too much longer. I just, uh, I'm hoping that we can all focus on beauty and joy and overcoming difficulties. Again, I have been having a difficult time these last few weeks myself with a lot of changes and I think that there's going to be a lot more changes coming up in my life. I'm not sure if I can afford to stay in my house and uh, that's a a very interesting thing to have to think about. I've been there almost 10 years. It's home. It's important to me. Home is peace. It's my big warm cozy bed and a hot shower and my coffee maker. But it's a lot of space. I have about 1725 square feet I believe of a house that I just don't need all that space and I don't need all the stuff I have in it. But the thought of the other you know options is uh, very interesting. So Let's all just pray, lift up our vibrations, think about maybe instead of hollering at the politicians who just play a lot of politics and don't care, they don't care guys, about any of us yelling at them or standing on the corners, hollering and waving flags and no disrespect, no disrespect, but we've got to maybe work on different solutions coming together, helping each other, getting our homes in order, stocking up on food and water, just in case for emergencies. Um, be as optimistic as we can and be in joy and peace and happiness and be able to serve each other. And we're able to do that better when we're, when we're well, emotionally, physically, spiritually. I'm gonna show you guys this park. I don't know why I can't seem to turn around the camera, but. I, I thought I had it figured out before I started this. But it's very beautiful, it's very crisp, amazing, gorgeous, fantastic day out here at the Baylands. I wish you all well, have an awesome day. Let's all talk about solutions, guys, okay? Take care.